So I'm going to present to you Rapid, which is a new experimental download client. And the goal is to optimize for throughput. So the main problem right now is that we use BitSwap, where a Go BitSwap plan, which well, works. However, it's not very fast. Um, I have quite fast internet, and it's downloading at three megabytes per second. And just so you know, the file I will be testing with is this.ipfs.io because uh, it's a pretty big folder, 50 gigabyte, and it has lots and lots of people that download IPFS themselves. So it, it should download very fast because there are many peers in the networks that have the file, and yet it's downloading very slowly. So I'll show you the demo of the program I wrote. So it's not downloading very fast right now, so um, it's only 75 megabytes per second, because right now, uh, Happy, so my new client, is using gateways for uh, the backend. And the gateway are a bit overloaded right now. So uh, I'm so that means that the speed right now, which is already well, pretty time faster than GoBitSwap, is actually limited by the file use gateway I'm using. And so the main way that Rapid is, is uh, achieving the speed is by multiplying the transfers. So instead of downloading blocks one by one or 32 by 32, uh, Rapid is going to divide the graph in multiple parts in a tree following the links between the various blocks. So all the blocks in the middle, so except uh, x, y, and z, or blocking the graph we want to download. And then you have a, an algorithm that will report uh, partition nodes and give them tasks on various parts of the network. Uh, I won't go there in detail about how the algorithm works. If you want to know, uh, I've made a presentation of it that moves the bytes working group. So you can find the link right here. Uh, the expected performance, it's very good, uh, I would say. The, for the throughput, uh, it's just basically you take the sum of all the peers you have, and unless in edge cases where the graph you have more peers than uh, blocks in the graph that are able to be downloaded, you you should expect just the sum of all the throughput, and that's well, one of the main reasons how I can reach uh, 2.5 gigabit per second, which is the limit of my fiber that uh, it will uh, download from many many peers in parallel. And the time to first byte it's because at the start, we don't have any peers. Like We only know one block. Uh, so what, what Rocky does is that it will download from many, it will download the same block from everyone because it has nothing better to do. So the time to first byte is a minimum from all the downloaders, which is uh, still quite good. It's not incredible, but it's still quite good if you have multiple gateways in uh, the game load values. Um, the efficiency, the CPU usage, uh, around 100 nanosecond to 500 nanosecond per block which is just counting rapid. It's not counting the protocol behind, uh, which is extremely good. In theory, you should be able to do 45 uh, terabit, uh, TB byte per second. Obviously, you don't do that. It's just uh, basically rapid is like so fast that all you care about optimizing is your actual underlying data transfer. The memory usage is uh, depends. The bigger your graph, the more memory it uses because we need to keep the tree. And the network efficiency is still rather good. Uh, the wider the graph is, the better, because we don't have those cases where you have two people downloading the same block as much. Um, the, right now, Rapid only works on gateway using the car response, and the goal is to make it support more protocols. So I have uh, not worked on this yet. But basically, we need a more, uh, slightly more complex logic that keep track of the list of work, because we have uh, this logic of the metric, which is how many people are attempting to download some part of the graph. But I will work on this uh, in the near future. And graph sync uh, would be very easy to add because you can reuse the same logic for the car gateway because uh, graph sync and gateway, uh, car over gateway is pretty close protocol. They are both, uh, I call them server driven. That means that I ask for some request and the server is sending me a bunch of uh, blocks without having me to keep asking for more and more. So I can start a request somewhere and then stop it when I'm unhappy. Um, the main reason right now it's not shipping in Kubo is because it lacks critical features. Uh, content routing, currently I just have a hard-coded list of gateways I'm using. We'll need to use uh, DHT and IPNI. Uh, having BitSwap support, this is very important for Kubo because all the content we download today is in BitSwap. And a small, add, a small tweak to the algorithm. Right now the algorithm assumes that everyone has all the content, which is true for a gateway because even if the gateway doesn't have the block, it's going to fetch it for you. Um, the, so I need to, to, to add uh, something like this where it's able to remember, oh, this fear doesn't have that block, I won't ask for it. And so that's all.